Hello everyone. So today, let me um, show you something really simple and cool. And I'm sure a lot of, lot of you, many of you want to do it. Or you will eventually think about doing it. I don't really do it, but I'm still showing you because uh, I also learned it. And I never really bother to do it. Uh, so I'm talking about uh, changing the background color or basically, you know, colors in, in your Emacs because it comes with, of course, different colors depending upon how you're using it R right now. I used to use Emacs in the terminal mode, but I started using uh, GUI mode because I also work with images and uh, I was never really able to uh, use images in the terminal mode, but it works straight away in the GUI mode. Now, what I want to to show you is how to change the colors which is basically done using customize face so uh, all you need to do just type in here meta x customize face and uh, let us just do it let us just do it very quickly so alt x alt x customize face and you will get uh, some options or basically you will uh, get um, you, you can basically specify here what you want to modify, right? So just modif just, just type in here, maybe default, right? And uh, you can, of course, then uh, modify it. Uh, basically, the colors by default, what you see in your Emacs. If I... Um, let us just do it with default. And uh, I'll just show you. It's very simple. All you need to do, just type in default, and it will, of course, give you this nice place to modify things and uh, the most simple thing that you can probably do is uh, you can change let us say the background color so right now the background color is uh, this one right so it is basically not visible because it is the background so i'll just uh, maybe save this particular uh, hexadecimal value somewhere Okay, let me just do one thing. I'll just copy it because why? Yeah, why not? Okay, it is copied now. Yep, perfect. So because I'll probably revert back to it. So let us just click on this button, choose, and uh, it will give you the option here to decide what you want. I may want to do something like. Uh, uh, I mean, I can change to this color, right? Uh, which is fine. But I also have like another way. I use D menu. And usually my colors, if I press my super C key, they are displayed on top. So I can actually uh, use my default color, which is, I mean, m my brownish uh, color, which I use everywhere. I've been using this color for many years. So I'll just use it and I'll, I'll, I'll just, oh, come on. I'll just paste it here. And uh, can I paste it here or not? I guess not. Yeah, I can. Let us just try. No, not really. It didn't work. Anyways, uh, anyways, I'll just type in because I I can definitely paste. I'll, I'll just try the. No, even the control Y is not working. Anyways, I'll fix it. So hash three three zero 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 zero. This is my color, <laughs> and uh, I'll just apply and uh, uh, okay let us do apply perfect right you, you can also apply and save it will basically save it to a file and it will basically make sure that this color is there uh, forever <laughs> so this is definitely really useful right I am feeling slightly uncomfortable because I don't use this color in the background but in case you want to do it I'm sure you have learned something right so yeah this is it it's not really that bad to be honest for example if i look at the code block let us look at the code block okay yeah not bad not bad java or maybe shell here okay I, i'll think about it i just need to consume this and uh, maybe figure out whether I should keep it or not, but it's very simple. Customize. 
customize no not not with s with z customize face right default and yeah you can change it here but this is cool right and i quite like the idea here if you click on the choose you have so many colors that you can select wonderful right great but i use t menu so there are like 548 colors here yeah really cool and uh, i i basically do the same thing using uh, for example if i'm doing uh, a generation of my um let us say thumbnail i select the color here for example let us say i'm making a video for emacs i can paste it here straight away right so this is something uh, that i have been using i, I made a video d menu is awesome so basically using these things like d menu uh, i'm i'm basically talking about d menu but what i'm trying to say is that it, it will make you super efficient because you're using the computer the way you want for your needs but of course today we learned how to change the background of your emacs I, I i made one video where i showed how to change the background of your code block which is something that you can do by modifying of course everything is in, is in your init file emacs <coughs> init file but uh, this is also interesting right and i, I quite like this idea of uh, of 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 uh, the colors that are displayed here nicely and uh, you can of course select and it will uh, let you use the hex value the hexadecimal value straight away perfect all right that is it i i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye